Today we're going to talk about the uh, wear and nipple and the water leg assembly in reference to the vessel and your heater treater. Uh, there's many good videos out that uh, address the internal workings of the heater. Uh, very few address the internal workings of the water leg and the wear and nipple assembly and the adjustment of that. So we'll be focusing here on, on the water leg assembly on our model. On the uh, inside your vessel, you'll basically have 60% water volume, 40% oil and gas on top of that. Your adjustment of your wear nipple, which is inside here, this white, white piece traveling down, the adjustment of that will be what adjusts the level of your water or the interface level, which the interface level is your where the oil and the water comes together as it separates in the vessel. So your adjustment rod is here which is connected with a bolt to your wear nipple assembly inside. Uh, the flow of the flood will be pushed out down the bottom of the, the vessel through your water leg. It travels up on the ID of your, your wear nipple assembly, comes out the top, overflows to your down comer, which comes to your, your dump valve, and then travels on to your water tank or your stock tank, wherever you're taking it to. So let me, let me show you the the uh, adjustment on the on the wear nipple. Uh, if you can see right here, this is the water level that, that the side glass is showing in your vessel. This is the top of your, your wear nipple here. Uh, so so currently it's overflowing down. If you take this this wear nipple and you adjust it up, you'll see that the water level is adjusted up. It'll make its way on up till till it starts overflowing the top of your wear nipple. So what we done, we just raised the level inside the heater to have, have you know, get to that 60% volume inside your heater. It's coming down the down comer to your dump valve. This down comer will fill up. The pressure of the water, hydrostatic head of the water will, will allow this dump valve to open and uh, dump the water outside into your stock tank. Let's adjust the, the rod down, and you should watch this level and down here. Should it, you can see where it's been, it's making its way down here. So, as a rule of thumb, uh, one inch of travel on on your adjustment rod is approximately four inches of. of uh, volume uh, travel either up or down whichever way you're adjusting it uh, in your vessel this is a rule of thumb a lot of things uh, factor into that your your weight of your flood the gravity of your flood how much uh, oil you have on top various things in there so there's there's several things that go wrong with the internals of a water leg that will affect your, your water level in your vessel uh, one, one of the things we have is an o-ring plate that is built into your water leg right here uh, your wear nipple goes down through the, the o-ring and it has a seal so this fluid coming up through here stops at this o-ring plate which forces your fluid on the ID of your your wear nipple which is the white piece and out the top this o-ring can become compromised and uh, allows fluid to come in come uh, from, from the OD of the wear nipple and the ID of, of your tube here, fluid will come up through there which will lower your fluid down somewhere in this level here. Here's our water leg assembly uh, with wear nipple uh, installed in, into it. Uh, let me explain the uh, o-ring plate. This o-ring plate is installed during fabrication right here in the center. Uh, it does have an O-ring that, that is put in place. So the flood comes in the bottom of the water leg, travels up, and is sealed from this O-ring from, from going any further here. So it travels through the ID of the wear nipple, overflows out here, comes, and then this comes to the, your down comer and to your dump valve. Uh, so your basic adjustments on your wear nipple is right here. 
here you just either slide it up or down from from your pack and assembly up at the top and your t-handle uh, so the, the o-ring and the o-ring plate is a vital part of the operation of the wear nipple also you have a connecting bolt here between your rod and your, your wear nipple right here uh, if that is becomes corroded or, or it breaks for whatever reason when you go to adjust your rod your adjustment rod uh, the rod is the only thing that's traveling and not your wear nipple uh, so you will not get any, any kind of adjustment in your vessel here uh, that that is usually put in uh, installed in as a stainless steel bolt uh, to prolong the the corrosion effect also you will have a, a valve right here on your gas section. This, this piping comes off of the top of your vessel uh, where the gas section is and provides uh, equal pressure in your water leg as it in your vessel. If this becomes plugged or the valve becomes shut, what will happen when this valve becomes closed or the, this line becomes plugged, the, uh, uh, you lose your gas pressure inside your water leg and that causes, creates the, the gas pressure in your vessel and the water level in your vessel to have a siphon effect up and out and will drain your heater down and uh, you'll lose your, your uh, level in that respect as well. So this is the basic operation of your water leg assembly and your wear nipple adjustment and assembly. Uh, I thank you for watching the video. There will be other videos to come. See you next time.